moving right along because it is pretty much review we can do some 1d kinematics now of course when we talk about kinematics you remember all these lovely formulas which is kind of my forms of the kinematics equations however before you can make use of these these have a very strong restriction that you need constant acceleration, which is the case in the these questions and many questions you'll come across. But double check that we are talking about constant acceleration because otherwise these equations won't work. Some of you might be tempted to include this one as well, but I would point out that you should really forget this from your entire set because what you see here is basically this, which only works when acceleration is zero and in many of our cases that we're dealing with that's not true so the suggestion is that you start with this first one up here and if it just so happens that the acceleration is zero it becomes the other thing but do not start with that one because that will often lead you astray so once we know what we're doing the rest is pretty straightforward again this should be reviewed for you guys so we have an initial velocity of 30 meters per second. The overall question is pretty themeless, just a particle moving around. We have an acceleration of, again, 30 meters per second square. And then your time is 5 seconds. So they're asking for the displacement, I guess, from 0 to 5 seconds. I guess the wording could be a little bit better here. So we're talking about delta t of 5 seconds and that we're looking for your delta x which is your xf minus xo. So we swing this over here, we get delta x, right? So let's put that in. Delta x is equal to vo delta t plus 1 half a delta t all square. Pretty straightforward subbing it in with the units just so that we can see oh the second and second cancel out we in fact do get meters and then the second square here cancel that second square the rest this calculator work 525 meters and if you want we can type out a lovely little sentence a little small but functional part b asks us for the velocity which is our second kinematics formula since there's nothing really special going on here I'm just gonna sub in the answer numbers right away seconds one of the second cancels out we get meters per second indeed and again calculator work gave us some number and there you go um, nice quick review for your kinematics equations but also quickly demonstrating some of the better practices in presenting. Not so much necessary to make it look pretty, but it's to really help you keep track of which number goes where as the number of variables increase more and more as we move into 2D, three or four different times, etc., etc.